Well, hello folks, and welcome to another episode of Dave's Allotment. As you can tell, it's May Day. <laughs> it's always raining on a May Day. That's got to be plans for the day, sort of. But there's always plenty of things to do. I'm going to get the kettle on though first, and all that kind of thing. Season a bit. Dave at the allotment. Dave, what are you after this afternoon? Hello, and welcome to Dave's Allotment. Still cracking on at the allotment. But get the kettle on. It's a lovely day. It's Dave at the allotment. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Well, it's raining, like I say. May Day, well it's the May Bank holiday, it always rains on a May Bank holiday, typical, I've got loads of things to do, I was today going to put my sweet corn out, I might even, if it stops raining, I'll check the ground if it's too wet, I'll not bother, but as you can see there, they're all needing to go out, it's around about that time folks, well uh, I'll put that there a second, so today I will be carrying on putting on stuff, there's a lot of things I need to get this bench totally out of here because I need to use this trench because I might as well stick these cucumbers in the ground as well today in the trench. I'm running out of space, <laughs> this potato it's starting to get flowers on, I need to shift things around so I'll be busy cracking on with that, I'll not bother filming it. Because what's the point? But uh, the next time you see this little area, it should be a little bit different. So I'll crack on. Season a bit. Ah. <laughs> right, folks. That this is where I'm going to put the cucumbers. So obviously, I've given a good fork and over there. I've added some compost. And what have you? And now I'll be adding some fish blood and bone to the mix. I don't know if you can hear us okay. Um, the camera's outside because it's sunny for for about five seconds. So that's a fish blood and bone. And then now, now this is dry blood. Add some of that. This is good. Quick release. Nitrogen, fertilizer, what, what every plant needs for a good start in life. And I've got a little bit of this grow more left. I need to get some more. And that's your slow release fertilizer. For all those that don't know. Right, that's that. What I have got as well, I've got a little bit of this chicken seaweed stuff. So I'll sprinkle a bit of that on as well, just for good luck and all that kind of thing. And then I'll give it a, another good forking. Another good forking. Give it all, get it all mixed in. So you can see how deep the bed goes, that's ideal. Then, where did I put them? Here. I'll get some pots with the bottoms cut off. I right, to sink these in. Not for any particular purpose other than cucumbers don't like to be, they have a wet stem, so it's just to stop the water. Basically, just fill that up with that. Right there, so here are my cucumbers. I've got a better one than that. I, I've got, I've got enough 
this one. I'll put this tasty king in just to show you. I'll put one in and then I'll I'll stop filming because it's starting to rain and I don't want my camera to get wet. So it's straight forward enough. In you go. Sorted. Right, that's one. Just another six to go. I'll catch you in a bit. Well, as you can see, this bench is now out here in the sweet corn, in the dahlias, are basking in the sun there. It's actually stopped raining now. There's still clouds. It's still showery. When it does, uh, when it does rain, it rains. So what I'm going to try and do, I get these sweet corn out the day in between the showers. And it's been, it has been raining all weekend. Excuse that mess, by the way. Um, it has been raining all weekend, but I'm going to... Oh, look, a ladybird. Hey. Go and get yourself on your little merry way there. Kill all of them green flies. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to see what the ground's like. If it's not too damp and not too wet, I'm going to get this area here sorted out and get them sweet corn in. It shouldn't take too long. I just obviously shift them bits of uh, pipe elsewhere and give it a good old forking. Forking hell. Right, I want to try and see if I can get this sweet corn out. I'm going to tidy this area up just here and then um, see what the soil's like. If it, I don't think it's too wet. It seems to be drying out there. Even though it has rained all weekend, it dries up quick. It'll probably be dry, but in about uh, two inches below the ground surface. So let's crack on with that. Right, that's that done. Get the sweet corn in. I think I'll have a cup of first though, I'm choking. Right, just while that kettle's boiling, I'll get these sweet corn placed out. Because as you can see, it's started to rain. Typical, but I knew it was coming. Anyway, I, it just means I'll not have to water these in later on. Um, so these are my sweet corn. What I've I've just prepared the land there. I've put some fertilizer down, what have you. Um, now there's a few things about sweet corn. They need 120 days of sunlight. Uh, these need to go out now because they're getting far too big for the pots there. So I'm just going to place them out where they need to be. I've got my mic tucked into my beard. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear us or not. Hopefully you can. But the thing is with sweet corn, they need to be spaced out the, the, at least 18 inches apart in a block. I've seen some people plant them like 14 centimetres, oh I did that, Clo too close together I've seen people planting them and uh, that, that's no good. Don't get sweet corn like that, like. Just think about in America, where they grow them in the fields and what have you. 
Look how far apart you... you but now children in the corn, the film. Imagine you wouldn't be able to run through sweet corn that was planted that far apart. So I'm just placing them out where they need to be and then get them dug in, planted out after me cuppa where that like kettle's boiling like I say. But they need to be at far apart and in a block. I'll put some down here as well. They need to be in a block because of pollination, basically. The wind will blow them around and they pollinate, pollinate themselves. Self-pollinators. No bees required. Right, so that looks just about right. Now there's nine there in the block. I have got another two here which I'll just put down there. But yeah, you might be thinking, you don't need to space your sweet corn out that far. Well, I always have, and it works for me. And, um, well, imagine if you're doing the, the three sisters method, where you plant like a pumpkin in between the sweet corn, and then you plant runner beans, so the runner beans can climb up the sweet corn. If the sweet corn's too far, uh, too close together, forget about the three sisters. Right, that, surely that kettle's boiled by now. I'll see you in a bit. Tra la 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 I don't even know what they look like, so I just thought I'd better pop them up. Anyway, it's raining again. So before I show you around, hopefully it's stopped raining by then. I just want to have a little bit of a chat. <laughs> Get a few things off my chest. Well, as some of you already know, on Saturday night, um, on my Dave's Allotment page on Facebook, I put a little status up. That's what you want to call it. A little rant. Well, basically, uh, I don't know. I was just thinking to myself, you know, um, is it really worth making these videos? Um, it takes takes us ages to actually film, edit, and do all of the little bits before it actually gets on YouTube. And... Um, is it worth it? Because I can get a lot more done if I wasn't filming, etc. Especially when I, I've been making videos now for eight years, and it's taken a, eight years to reach 5,000 subscribers, which I'm, I am so pleased about. Thank you very much. But, um, but like I say, I, I've noticed like new gardening YouTube channels, new ones that's just started like not long ago. And they've nearly got 5,000 subs themselves, and it's like, eh, what am I doing wrong? Why? Because, like, you know, I, I was thinking to myself, well, uh, my subscribers have stayed, stayed round about that for ages now. I don't seem to be getting any more sort of thing. I was thinking, well, is it worth it? All this time and effort. And then, after I'd sent the message on my page, I got a load of, load of comments. And uh, thank you, everybody who commented on that thing on my Facebook page, because it, it made us realise it's a moment of clarity for myself, sort of thing. Um, at the end of the day, YouTube isn't a competition between us gardeners to see who can get the most subscribers and all that. I was getting carried away with all that, you know. It's not to do with that. At the end of the day, I started my videos to for a little video diary for myself um, so I can look back and then it, I did start getting subscribers and I have been getting carried away with wanting more, I want more <laughs> what can I say um, like I say the comments I got were fantastic and they did make us realise 
why I make videos in the first place. It did start off, like I say, as a video diary for myself. I then started getting people subscribing to us, um, saying how helpful and how how the help help is out, sort of thing, by watching me videos. And it's like that. It feel it makes us feel humbled that I've actually got people off the chairs and they've actually got themselves an allotment through watching my videos that's fantastic and that's that's the reason why I carry on I carry on that's the reason why I carry on doing these videos because um, because of people like you all my subscribers I don't care how many people uh, you know it's nice to get more subscribers but I'm not gonna get bogged down in all of that again um, the videos, I like editing videos, I like making videos now, and I like editing videos. So why should I stop doing something I like just because I'm thinking, nobody likes me videos. Well, thanks for everybody who does like me videos, and especially the comments I've got. It did really did make us realise that it's, it is nice, uh, and it's not a competition. We shouldn't be all out there to try and beat each other. It's all, we're all here to help each other, you know. So, carry on gardening, folks. Um, and I am truly humbled that people like me channel. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much, everybody. Um, I hope it carries on. <laughs> Gives more subs. <laughs> no, 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 really, honest. Um, people enjoy my videos. I enjoy making videos. I'll carry on making videos until there's nothing else to show you. <laughs> but until then, you're stuck with us. So thanks for watching, folks. It doesn't look like it's going to stop raining. But I'll show you around anyway because it, a lot of things have been grown since the last video. Um, if I have been boring you, sorry. <laughs> skip, 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 skip. <laughs> No, hit the bell, hit the bell, skip, skip, hit the bell, <laughs> hit the bell, ding, ding, get notifications. <laughs> Bro, I'm drifting again now. Right, um, hopefully it will ease off a bit, I can't show you around. And once again, thank you very much everybody for subscribing, commenting. Oh, I read all the comments, I try and comment back, but it's really hard with like work and stuff to the to have time to watch loads of people's videos and I'm dragging this video out now people probably aren't even watching this but if they are thank you very much folks I'm going to show you this round see you in a bit right I've found this old pan lid as a sort of umbrella for my camera so I'll show you this round look at the me clematis now thank you for the person who told us the name of it I think you said it was Grand Flora or something but it's uh, it's blooming lovely. Nice. Right, so I'll crack on. Whoa. I've been getting some rhubarb. There's still plenty of rhubarb. I need to get at the back there where them buttercups have started growing, I've just noticed. Because I want to get some wildflowers growing there. Well, I suppose they are wildflowers. Um, Everything's green in the wildlife area. Frogs and tadpoles and what have you, it'll still be in the pond. Not that you can see much because it's all just after a couple of weeks, like one week of rain, it's just went boom. I have to get in here where the fruit cage is. Ah, bloody green fly or something just landed in the ear there. Aye, the fruit cage bit is getting overrun with weeds. These little jobs that all need to be done on a nice sunny day. I'll show you this side first. The cabbages are doing fine. The cabbages and the kale are doing fine. And so is the giant swede there. And that one. I must keep, I'm keep forgetting to do this. Every time I come, this has fallen down, so I'm going to lash it, keep it in place, because this moves in the wind, you see, this post. 
It's not the securest of things, but it'll do. Anyway, look at me potatoes. Whoop, forgot to uh, put this back on. These potatoes now are starting to come up. There's a, a line of rooster and Charlotte are just starting to poke the heads out. Now, if you remember, I planted these ones here. Um, oh, yeah. I'm going to stick that down here. I cannot do things without pointing. I planted these rows two weeks after this row here. So they're all picking up now. They're all doing good. Like I say, there's another bit of rooster coming up there. No sign of them ones. But like I say, they were planted a week after these ones. So, no, th them two. This, them, I, these two rows were planted a week after them ones. I'm confusing myself. Never mind anybody else. The Pentland Dell ones are up. And these these ones here have had the first earth up. If you can see there, that's the reason why you plant them two foot apart in the rows. So you can earth up a foot off each bit. See so right there. That goes there, that goes there, and eventually you'll have a pyramid type shape. And that's where you water in your trench but they're doing great these soap omira i'm pleased with these last year i didn't get any but they seem to be thriving and look the kestrel have, have eventually caught up so that's good the garlic it's doing okay what what more can i say about that <laughs> um so there's my sweet corn out as you can see Nicely spaced apart there for a reason. And if you wanted to, in fact, I probably will later on, you can directly sow some uh, some sort of runner bean down there and it'll climb up. And if you want, if you really want to do, you could, like I said before, grow like a pumpkin or something in between or butternut squash. Butternut squash! So there's me little area which I have for things like runner beans and uh, broad there's the broad beans I put out the other week they've perked up now a couple of them had fell over but they're looking all right as are the onions fantastic it's, this rain's just what they needed like because uh, tap water is just not the same it's just not the same have I got any raindrops on there? No, nope. where are it? Um, I so everything's looking good. Now let's see, let's see what these potatoes in the tyres. I keep forgetting about these. Let's see what happens. Oh, look, they're up, they're up. Get in. So what I'll do now, next time I cut the grass, I'll just cover that and just keep covering them till I get to the top of the tyres. Right, crack on. These leaks are doing the same, but they're doing what leaks should do, I suppose. Um, that's all of the weeds there that come out of that little bit there. I'll just leave them on the path for another day. This comfrey's just went berserk. It's got loads of flowers on now, but I'll leave them for the bees. And then when the flowers die off a bit, I'll chop it all back. So I can get some uh, fertilizer on the go. So look at this. Look at the uh, giant artichoke that never stops growing. It's fell over. So I don't know. I'll leave them there to see if they go to flower, but I'm not too sure if it's actually snapped with the weight. No, it hasn't. But look, there's another one forming there. It's just a never ending thing. It gets bigger and bigger by the year. And it must have been there for about oh, 12 years, as, as far as I know. Me roses here, starting to get flowers on. Nice red rose. And his roses, covered. Absolutely covered. It'll not be long before they're all bursting into flower, which would be good. And lilies here. Now, these lilies, let's see, it, the, I put these lilies here because the day Annie died, 
was the day that them opened two years ago three years ago like, aye, nearly three years ago on June the 11th they opened now let's see if they open on June the 11th this year right excuse the mess round here because I've been tidying up in the greenhouse as you know and uh, I just can't be I can't do everything at once I do need to get rid of all of this wood burn fire fire all my uh, peas I left them in the greenhouse they went a bit dead <laughs> so I just left them out here they seem to have perked up but I, I really do need to get them in the ground sometime soon but that's no bother because I will be uh, sowing some direct into the ground as well because that, that's about that time all of the tulips are finished this potato in the pot is doing great I put some of them for, uh, snap dragons out into a pot there's me sunflowers for the sunflower challenge like the other day uh, well about a week ago I went in the greenhouse and all of these were like flopping over and get oh, I need a, I need a drink I need a drink <laughs> so I potted them on and I left them outside and they've perked up again so I'll have to find a space for them to go look at me sweet peas here lovely I've been deadheading them of course thank you to the person who uh, says about the peas reverting to the original colour if you've saved your own seeds I never knew that but oh, yeah they, they look quite nice pink ones these dahlias here start to get buds on so all of these need to go where that wood is in there is there anything else to show you? Ah, I've planted one of these uh, morning glories in a pot down here just to see if it'll grow. Don't know if it will, but let's find out. Um, I put some of these con convolvulus into a little hugging basket there and there. Let's see how they go. Right, I'll pause it here, folks. Catch us in a bit. Right into the greenhouse. What's been happening here? As you can see, I've put me cucumbers in. Let's see how they do. I put it on them, cut the natchy things, whatever they are. So there's six cucumbers here. It's two Tasty King and three Burpless Wonder. No, four Burpless Wonder and two Tasty King. And this is the loofah. So I've just put that there. Because I haven't got a clue if I don't know that's just gonna be a little experiment thing this but hopefully it'll climb up there I'm gonna make a frame for the cucumbers to climb up another day got a couple of spare cucumbers there see if anybody wants them give them the ray or something these uh, cabbages these are the cauliflowers sorry they'll need to go out soon the car oops the carrots are doing okay champion the grapes are still coming on thick and fast these um these snapdragons are getting far too leggy and they're starting to get the flowers on so they'll need to go out somewhere as well I did I'm running out, running out of space I got some peppers off Ray the other day there's some cane I've got six cane peppers there and then beetroot are doing canny and there's, look, I knew I wasn't going mental last time. This is a uh, blue lake climbing bean. And it was on its side, wasn't it? That's how I couldn't see it. But there it is there, the starting to grow. I'll sow a few more into pots now that it's warming up a bit. Um, I look at the grapes, man. Absolutely covered. Right, here's a little grape tip for you you see there there's a bunch of grapes and there's another bunch of grapes right next to them get them off you want them at least a foot apart that's a job for another day 
My tomatoes are doing great as well, look. All coming on canny there. And these are some greyhound cabbage that need to go out. There's a few Swede there, they need to go out. Everything needs to go out. The uh, red alert tomatoes are coming on champion. Oh, I forgot to pot them on. I need to pot them onto another pot. Let's see what happens with them. Um, there isn't much else to show you around here, folks. Oh, me, me avocado, avocado. That's doing all right. All right. Me avocado's doing all right. All right. Right, that's enough. There isn't anything else to show you now. I'm just blabbering on. But like I said before, folks, um, thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing. It really does mean a lot. I didn't start this uh, this channel to get as many subscribers as I can, but it is nice to get a few subscribers and get a few little pennies um, in the bank through making videos of the adverts and all that kind of thing. If you don't want to watch adverts, you can press the skip button or you can just get, like most people probably have, ad block. Sorted, no more adverts. <laughs> right, so, once again folks, thank you for watching. I really am humbled and from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I, I was this close to giving up on Saturday. <laughs> what the difference a day makes. Oh, that's a totally different song. Right, I am blabbering now. Thank you so much for watching, folks. I'll see you on the next one. If you have a week off, with it being the uh, school holidays, I hope you get to spend some time in the garden and uh, crack on, have plenty of cuppers, and enjoy the sun, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I'll see you on the next one, folks. Bye now.